Okay, so we're going to do a short. This is the first short in a couple of weeks. I've been on vacation, but here you go. So we're going to talk about Canic mags that are in short supply. They've been in short supply maybe about a year. Um, so I've seen some guys complaining on various uh, Facebook groups and forums and subreddits. You know, they bought a Canic maybe six months to a year ago and they can't find mags. So they're about ready to give up and go back to what they were using before, which is a Glock, you know, or... Uh, Smith and Wesson um, but you know I in the last six months I've got my hands on three of them uh, but those have been like hard searches for them um, so yeah it's a problem so a couple of days ago I was uh, watching the Canic USA uh, Facebook page and they sent out a happy new year post and I decided to ask them what they were going to do to to increase production of those mags since they were un unobtainable in the last year. Um, so a Canic USA employee chimed in and stated that um, they depend upon Metgar to f fulfill those orders and that uh, the mag supplier has been backlogged all year long. So... In my opinion, that means uh, that Canic is dependent upon an outside company to provide, uh, I guess, uh, an important part of their handguns. And that's not good, in my opinion. Uh, that's not good at all. Um, I mean, you need magazines and more than just two to train. Uh, some guys, uh, they compete professionally. Uh, they compete in events. Uh, some guys uh, just need them for training. Like, you know, for me, two is not enough when I go to the range and, and just shoot, you know, uh, because I'm using both of these mags, and that means in order to use them to train, I have to empty the gun of the self-defense ammo and load them up with uh, training ammo. And then when I'm done, I have to, do the reverse i have to take that sdm on and put it back into the gun it's kind of cumbersome you know it's it's pain in the ass doing that uh so some things that can it can do to kind of uh make sure this doesn't happen again maybe uh make them in house you know make make their own magazines instead of being dependent upon an outside company to 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 provide those magazines to them. Uh, I know that that's a big deal because it requires uh, equipment to do and you have to set up a production line, but that is an option. Uh, another option would be to get with co a company, you know, for instance, ProMag. You know, can it can get with ProMag, and I know people shit on ProMag, but ProMag, you know, if, if you're having issues finding magazines, ProMag is better than no mag, and that, that no pun intended. Uh, so, so that would be an option if Canic would go to them, and and to make it a non shitty product, Canic would should give them like the the build specs for the magazine. That way, it will be less of a shitty product. Um, so that would still mean that Canic is dependent upon an outside company. But it would be dependent upon ProMag and Metgar instead of just Metgar. So at least, you know, you don't have one, you know, I guess what do you call it? Uh, one point of failure. Um, so options for Canic owners would be to maybe seek out uh, other uh, uh, magazines for other Canic models. Uh, the full sizes and the compacts will fit in the subcompact without issue. Um, yes, you will have some magazines jutting out of the magazine well, but if Glock guys can do it, we can do it, right? And that works for when you're in a shit hits the fan situation. Uh, 
you can keep one of those long sticks in your uh, in your glove compartment in your cargo area in your Jeep, you know, for example, um, or truck um, or even in the house, you know, take a couple of sticks and place them in random areas in the house. That way, when you need an extra magazine, it's a big one, a long one, and it, it's there for you. Right. But for someone who conceals and carries, that's not going to work for them. It's hard to conceal those log, big sticks. So guys who conceal in, you know, conceal carry, they take it, if they take it, it seriously, then they're going to want the OEM mags. So what you can do is, uh, I got my three, all three of mine are 10 round mags that I converted to 12 round. So I'm, every time I do a search, I'm only, if I'm seeing any that are available, they're only the 10 round mags. And for some reason, guys are frowning upon buying those 10 round mags. It's like there's a stigma around them. But here, here's what you can do. You can buy that 10 round mag. You can field strip the mag. And there are two limiters on the inside. If you take a Dremel or a file and file those down, you make your mag, you convert them to the 12 rounds. And then the only thing you have to worry about is the base plate. So what's available, what I'm seeing is, are 10 round mags with the flat base plate. The flat base plate is not really desirable, but they're better than having no mags at all. So what you can do there is you can buy your 10 round flat plate mags uh, and do an online search. There are plenty of guys out there in the aftermarket arena that sell uh, uh, base plate extensions. So you can replace those with base plate extensions. Yes, uh, some of those extensions are, are pricey. Some of them are actually cheap. So uh, that will be that will be an, an option. So it's all about options and giving people the power to kind of work through, I guess, uh, uh, parts shortages. And so uh, I just gave you a bunch. Well, I gave you I gave you several options for the Canic owner, but we really were, we were t also talking about Canic and the fact that they were pointing the finger at Metgar saying it, it's them. It's both of them. It's not just Metgar. It's Canic because they depended upon Metgar and Metgar is having trouble. 